and when people start getting into the numbers here there's a lot to offer like um i don't know about the end game i don't know what happens when you hit max level i don't know when you beat the game how replayability is but right up front there's a lot more to think about when you're actually controlling the characters and fighting and in terms of the options and how you're leveling up your characters there's more here than the old games had and if you're watching and thinking that the old games had more, that's nostalgia talking. If you go back and play them right now and then play this in comparison, it's not close. You should never have come here. The hand deals in arcane magic that dates back to the dawn of civilization. They worship a primordial beast that wishes to drag the world back to those darker days. The Hand's mystics restored me to life once, long ago. That process must have made me an ideal vessel for their enchantment. If only I had killed those mystics sooner. A mistake I won't make again. Are we here in the first place? For the same reason as you. To stop the Kingpin from crushing the city beneath his fist. Our goals are aligned. Even if our methods are not. Shazam, no problem, man. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I was really excited about this game. I've been like, we all got to get in. We all got to play it. So, like I said, I'm reviewing it for Rectify Gaming. But more than that, I just wanted to be able to, like, answer some of these more obscure questions that you don't really get in previews. And people don't really talk about these kinds of things. That's kind of what I try to do with my review and playstyle in general. Because, you know, you know what it is to read a preview. And then it's like, dude, but how... How's the combat really like? Like, are there combos? Do the combos matter? Like, do you need to worry about your techniques? So I'm glad I played this for myself and I'm able to help out because this game is deeper than I thought it was. Okay. I will not be trapped in this accursed place any longer. <laughs> Well, Venom is a slow... From this infernal cage. He's a slow character. I did not level Venom up, so I should probably uh, do that at some point. You see this enemy right here? He's a regular enemy, but he has a stagger meter. That was one. That was one um, hard enemy that required stagger. And just by himself, without any other minions around or a boss, he was tough. Because you have to land counter hits to break their stagger meter and once you stun them you have synergy attacks to worry about where you have to coordinate the special moves between your characters which allows you to stun them and when you stun them you can do double damage so it's like there's a lot there to unpack um so the game has depth there if you want it but more than that you need it you know it's one thing to have depth and then you can choose to interact with it or not but you you need to use it. I mean, you, like Vlox and I almost died a couple of times, like because we weren't using it. The hell do they want me to go? Oh, see, so like right here. Does anyone else have a move like that? Okay. I feel like that chest right there required a synergy attack. Is this like... I gotta aim a wall? Or... No, hold on. This is the room I entered. Ah, I see where they want me to go. 
Dude, Iron Fist and Daredevil together are incredible in this game. Oh, Luke Cage, so I haven't tried Luke Cage yet. And even then, like, uh, in terms of the different characters, every character has light and heavy attacks, but the thing that helps the game out a lot are the light and heavy attacks for the characters have a lot of different properties. So you'll notice that, like, some characters are heavy will lead to a juggle state. Some will lead to, like, a knockdown. Some will stun. Um, some will charge people with an element, and another character can inherit that element and use it to, uh, you know, do those status ailments. And that's just with your basic attacks. That's just knowing the characters, how they play, how they move. Um, These weapons could prove quite useful in the right hands. Okay. Game does work with the voucher system. I suggest it. Whoa. Bullseye? Oh, thank you, a a yoke, a okay, for the follow. Thanks for joining Team Stark. Oh shit! Here's Bullseye. I actually used the voucher system with this game and um, I ended up getting my review copy today so kind of wasted a voucher spot but it's whatever it happens if anything I'll be able to give the oh no I can't it's digital unfortunate Holy shit. Like everything that Bullseye does, I can dodge. So we stun them, we get our damage, and then we gotta get the heck out of there. Then I mean the hit detection is like really good. So you can jump, dodge, block, and you actually can really avoid these attacks. Ultimate attack. Dude, those moves are insane. I love those attacks. You'd let me put you out of your misery. Oh, wow. Something tells me the Kingpin didn't put his latest acquisition on display. If we want the stone, we'll have to find him first. We need to keep going. All right, so let's look at the uh, team stuff here. Venom is like really close. He's so close to leveling up. Which means he's about to get a second attack. Oh, 
Yeah, and I have to review this. And in a week, uh, I'm trying to get a review copy of Fire Emblem as well. So I'm just going to be like... My brain. But it's awesome to have actual great games coming out in July. About time. These have anything to do with those statues we saw earlier. Don't look at me. Iron Fist. Alright. That'd be great. Here come more of the Crimson Ninjas of West Midtown. I object. We got him. We got him. All right, I got a secondary move for Venom. Let's see what we got. We cannot oh, we got Dark Web. Okay, awesome. It is the end of July. The voucher system is up at the end of July, so make sure you jump on it. Grab a cup of vouchers. Once you buy a voucher, the voucher lasts for a year, so you can keep it in the bank and use it on uh, future titles, but it's a great deal. Alright, I gotta get these guys up top because otherwise they're gonna keep kicking my ass. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Whoa. These guys are You're going in, man. There. That's much better, Feng Shui. Even these regular guys, like, you have to watch their attacks. Like, I can't just... Almost lost that fight. Like that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That's just a regular encounter. Uh, you can uh, do it on their website. You can also get the voucher right on the eShop. Like if you go to Nintendo Online, there will be an option to uh, to use and uh, purchase a voucher. Um, And honestly, even more than that, if you wanted to see the uh, the review of this in the future, um, you guys can really would really help me out. And I don't mean to do do the plugs, do the crazy plugs, but I am not a guy who shouts. I am not a racist asshole. I'm not a kid who is screaming at the top of his lungs playing Fortnite. So. Any subs on YouTube or follows here on Twitch will help me out a lot. I'm an old man. 
who likes to play cool video games at a high level with my friends. That's about the uh, craziest I get in terms of the uh, YOLO generation. So any help would be appreciated, but it's all good. I do my best fighting in hallways. Yeah, but I prefer walls I can use to my advantage, not ones I can kick straight through. I know to make it as a streamer these days, you kind of got to be one of those three things, but uh, I'm trying my best by just being a somewhat normal guy. Dude, look at this perspective right here. Pretty sick. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, Devin, thank you so much for the follow. And like I said, whenever I get the chance i will do giveaways i've given out review copies of games before so um as soon as i get a review copy and it's physical i always give it out it's always going to somebody else okay we are right next to oh they tried to hide this box on me guys i gotta see if i have electra yet i kind of want to do this fight with the defenders but I don't know if I have her unlocked. She might still be like guiding me. Uh, no, nah, no Electra just yet. Sickness, thank you so much for the follow. Um, Zam, Zerniac, dude, everyone in here, thank you guys so much. Said any other questions? Feel free. Flox is in the, in the chat. That's my wife. She can help. Help try to answer. She was playing call with me earlier. All right, we have full team super attacks. Let's do this. Derniak, Rasco. Oh my god, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh oh, it's fight time though. I gotta mute my desktop audio so we don't interrupt the cutscene. To just make an appointment. A shame that the only currency your kind seems to understand is power. Hmm. Fortunately, I recently obtained a surplus. Oh boy. <laughs> Shall we get down to business? All right, Power Stone. <laughs> He doing sumo attacks? Enhancing my power. This city will go Oh, he's strong. Okay, I gotta stay away from him when he does that because he hurts real bad. Trying to get on the fight around this pillar. Trying to avoid getting hit. Ah, oh, god damn it. A little bit of invincibility frames on the roll. I gotta start doing the roll more instead of the uh, jump to get away. Alright, here we go. Get him with an alliance attack. Dude, all that I only did a quarter of damage. If you won't bow to my demands, I'm afraid you're in for a very hostile takeover. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm almost dead. Okay, everyone's leveling up. Thank the old gods and the new. Because otherwise, I'd be uh, near death with a few of these guys. Oh, he did two jumps? Okay. All right, 
One jump. Two jumps. Yep. Okay. Woo! Oh, we stunned him. And so that's what I mean. Um, really quick before I keep going to fight. You saw how we staggered him. So staggering is one thing. You break down his uh, stagger meter, he'll get a little bit stunned, and you can open up a little bit. However, if you do a synergy attack while he is staggered, you get a perma stun, and it almost triples the length, and that's when you can really get some damage in. And it feels like doing that is like critical to really like pulling off some big, big damage in the middle of a fight. And you, you'll never do those if you're just mashing. You, you, it just won't happen. Like you really need to like watch your energy, watch your ability power. Ah, oh, Daredevil's dead. Not good. Not good. They jump. Okay, I got him. Woo! afford to lose anyone when he's so close to dying I gotta get rid of the lock on alright now we can mess him up I think we got him. I think we got him. Done. I object. Oof. I'm afraid your deal's been canceled, Fisk. No refunds. Oh, that's a fancy gem. But it isn't one of ours. If you don't want it, Quill. I'd be glad to take it off it's your gotta be power so man Ooh. okay if that isn't one of your stones, <laughs> then what the hell is it I've never seen like hold on before. optimus isotopic or maybe but without running a few tests I... we can't waste our time on that not when the other stones are still out there you said you said you said the chaos emeralds oh my goodness hold hold on while we while we do our dialogue sequence here we need to pay tribute because uh you guys said chaos emeralds and uh there's only one real og classic when we think about that You know, when, we th we, 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 when you came at the right time. Hey, I'm just saying, if you think about it, then you might require Sonic might actually be one of the first Avengers. Because what, what are the Chaos Emeralds if not the Infinity Stones? Think about them. If he gets all of them at one time, 
He gets insane power, becomes almost a god. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about that. So let's see. Someone, someone shouted a team out here. Thor, Hulk, Doctor Strange. Let's let's try that team actually. Let's try that team and let's see how OP it actually is. I don't have any of the deeper unlocks yet. I honestly, I haven't even unlocked the ability to equip ISO 8s on the character, which is what this game's version of gear is. I know it's in here, but I haven't even gotten to that point in the game yet, even after three hours of playing. So it's definitely not some quick, like, blow through it in, like, one session, unless your one session is, like, 15 hours long and you're insane. All right, let's get Thor. Son of Odin shall answer your prayers. Let's get Scarlet Witch. Just say the magic word. Get the Hulk. Hulk's turn to smash. And uh, we don't have Doctor Strange yet, but uh, let's just get, uh, let's see, who else is kind of overpowered in a broken way? Let's try uh, Captain Marvel. Let's try, this captain is ready for let's try this team out. We'll, we'll see what kind of stuff they can do. Now, uh, characters... Oh, Creek, you want to see Miles? You want Miles? I'll put Miles in. I haven't used Miles yet. Let's do that. Let's let's put Miles in. He's not quite over. He's not quite broken. Uh, we'll take out Hulk and put Miles. You wanted a Spider-Man? Well, you got one. Let's see what he can do. Uh, hero select. No, I am a fool, guys. Forgive me. All right, let's go to team. Let's level up. So your characters that you're not using don't level when you're not in the party. So they give you um, EXP orbs so that you can kind of balance it out and keep characters from falling too far behind. So let's do, um, let's do some of that right now, actually. Let's go to the lab. That's this thing right here. Let's keep working on this. There's so many. There's so much things to unlock, guys. It's a little overwhelming. Uh, here we go. Oh, that takes me there. How do I? How do I use an XP orb? Ah, there we go. So let's use some. Shows how much I have. Damn, a cosmic one will put him to level 12. Let's see if I can get him to level 10. Alright. Level up. Let's see if we can get her to level 10. Nope, definitely can't. Let's try let's try uh oh, Miles is actually pretty close. She's the cosmic one. Cosmic could get her to level eleven. Level up. He'll be close to level ten with these, which will get him his next ability, which is nice. And that shows you the kind of uh, stuff you have for your moves. Um. There you go, Creek. I got Miles right here. We're gonna we're gonna use him right now. Uh, all right. Let's see what his basic animations are like. He looks awesome. Oh, he has the electric fist at the end of his string. His heavy attack. He's a ground smash. He has electric web. All right, let's talk to Daredevil. There's something about the Kingpin's crystal. I don't know, but just being close to it, I felt my senses were twice as acute as normal. It might give us the extra boost we need, if it's safe. And if it's not? That's not something I think we want to learn the hard way. We need to find a way to test it. All right, let's get to the uh, beginning of the next chapter before we uh, call it here. Yeah, sorry about that. Not every tip pans out, but at least it's still nice and shiny, right? 
One. Something turned up over at the Hellfire Club. That place gets kinda freaky, though, even for me. Maybe it's better if I scout it out alone first. What if it's one of the Infinity Stones, Jessica Jones? I've got Luke on speed dial, so I'll keep you posted. In the meantime, you want me to take the Kingpin's gem to the pawn shop for you? Think we can handle it? Well, if you change your mind, I know a guy. So, that was my first official ninja temple. That's something Thank you, Monkey Bear, for the follow. I guess. Why so glum, chum? All of this is just so much bigger than us. I mean, I can barely do my own laundry. Stopping cosmic annihilation is a bit outside my comfort zone. Then, you probably should be glad that you have friends who have done this kind of thing before on your team. Wait, does that mean we're... Sure, at least for today. Go ahead, say it. You know you want to. Say what? Avengers assemble, baby! You are such a nerd. <laughs> I really, uh, I can't say it enough. The storyline is so good in this game. It's like way more involved and interesting. And the voice acting is, for the most part, really solid. The real deal. Genuine infinity stones. Jam-packed with endless cosmic energy. They grant near omnipotent abilities to whoever holds them. Which leads me to an extremely important question. Holy, I did not think Vision was in this game. Can I keep them? I believe that the stones are safer in containment than in anyone's hands. Especially yours. Remind me to program more fun into you, Viz. I will be certain to add that to the top of my task list. After we discuss my analysis of this other unusual crystal. You guys are probably going to want to take a look at these readings. Oh god, there's a lot of people in here with a lot of stuff to say. All right, let's start talking. Yes. If I did, they certainly wouldn't reveal that information for free. So unless you have a bank account you're willing to empty, we'll need another option. Thank I may have been raised in the Red Room, but it's been a long time since I practiced what they teach. We'll find the stones, but we'll do it the right way. As heroes. How many Marvel characters were actually cold-blooded murderers before they became heroes? Permission to speak, soldier. Are there more stones out there, Cap? We've got ourselves quite a team already. And until we know what's really going on here, we'd only risk compromising the missions our allies are already on. So I say... So far in my uh, few hours of playing, the only thing I'm really missing from the older games is I miss, like, if you had certain characters, you'd get different lines of dialogue when you're in the hub areas. Like, that doesn't seem to be in this anymore. When the time comes, rest assured, our friends will answer the call. It's what real heroes do. But the trade-off is the actual in-game story and cutscenes have a lot more banter and interaction between the characters. So I guess it's kind of like a give and take. Let me guess. You've got burning questions that only I can answer. Well, go ahead. Good question. I imagine when Star-Lord and his crew used the Space Stone to travel to Earth, the other stones hitched a ride. That's how the Time Stone ended up in the Goblin Cell. I'd imagine so. I've already started scanning the area for other cosmic energy signatures. Hopefully, we can find them before someone less heroic does. You can start by talking to Vision about the Kingpin's crystal. If anyone can analyze what the heck that thing is, other than me, of course, it's our resident android Avenger. Thanks, Iron Man. No problem. If you need me, I'll be over here ogling the objects of immeasurable power. All right. Oh, Vision is, uh, well, ended if we talk to Vision. Hmm. What do you want? Yeah, they're shiny and they make you stronger, but not as strong as Hulk. Uh, Puny Banner could probably tell you, but he's not here right now, and Hulk doesn't really care. <laughs> no, Hulk is pretty awesome. Point, Hulk
Hulk in the right direction and he'll smash anyone who gets in the way. Good. Leave Hulk alone until it's time to smash. Yeah, you do start with the Guardians of the Galaxy. But like really early on, you get like 15 characters like right off the bat. A few times, yeah. They're as powerful as their name makes them sound. If they're here on Earth, it's a safe bet that villains everywhere will be scrambling to get their hands on them. You better believe it. We can't let it happen. Okay, let's talk to Vision and see what he has for us. And there is another camera angle uh, that you can have access to. My analysis on the Kingpin's crystal is nearly complete, but it has raised a number of new questions. I've yet to see it in handheld mode either, Natora. So uh, I gotta, I gotta take that thing out the dock. Um, no, but I've heard it it's fine. Properties to the stones. Not amazing looking, but you know, there's a lot that goes on in this game while you're fighting. So it is a cubic form of neutronium aligned in eight atom clusters. I believe our ally, the Black Panther, once found a similar specimen and dubbed it ISO-8. ISO-8 crystallization should naturally occur wherever there are large expenditures of cosmic energy. We should look for more gems like this whenever Infinity Stones and other objects of immense power are in play. Okay, so now I'm getting the ISO-8 system. In theory, it could be used to enhance our own natural abilities. Further testing may be necessary to... That is curious. Perimeter scans reveal no external threats to Avengers Tower. Suddenly, less worried about external threats and more concerned about the ones in here. Could the Infinity Stones be acting of their own accord? It's not the stones. I'm picking up another signal. Something familiar. Oh, baby. Jarvis, I need you to amplify this frequency and trace it back to... Jarvis? I cannot access the tower's operating system either, Iron Man. If our mainframe has been compromised, we are no longer safe in our own home. Then I guess it's a good thing I own about a dozen others. How glorious it must be to be Tony Stark. You know what? It is. It really is. They seem to agree. My drones? Uh, they shouldn't have been activated on their own. Help me shut them down, G. Yes. We should be able to manually reboot the tower's defenses sector by sector if we enter the Avengers priority override code into these terminals. Level up. User override protocol A57 initiated. Since the iron drones are linked to the labs, I got no ability. This should neutralize them. Whoa, that was sick. Mankind had its chance to rule Avengers. But this world is long overdue and upgrade. I did not think Ultron was in this freaking game. Okay. I'm in. Alright, so I said I acquired ISO 8, so can I just how do those work, I wonder? I can't put anything on from here. So it must be at a different screen is how I do that. We must act quickly if we hope to free Avengers Tower from Ultron's control. Ultron's source code is being broadcast at unusually strong levels, even for him. He must have enhanced himself once again in order to boost his signal. We restored control to the lab with the override code. If you can locate other interface terminals throughout the tower, we should be able to regain command, one room at a time. I'm sorry, my friends, but I must remain linked to this terminal to search for other ways to purge Ultron's code. From I wonder if Vision is playable. I, I would hope so. Perhaps the ISO-8 could be of some help in my efforts. 
However, I will gladly help to coordinate your mission from here. Best of luck, my friends. I will be watching over you. We continue Vision's research on the ISO-8. I think you're gonna like what we found. The ability to equip ISO-8 is now available. Uh, ISO-8 will influence the heroes. They use them in a variety of ways. Okay, so I guess now we can actually equip gear. It took a while to get to that point. Use this menu to select and equip any of the ISO-8 you have acquired. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to start getting into the deeper customization the game has but already i see some stuff i'm not a fan of like increased damage done by 14 percent but also taken by 14 percent. so it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of good and bad it's not just gonna be flat buffs across the board let's increase his strength by 500 that seems really good durability I'm not sure. Uh, let's put that on her. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Let's just do one more uh, battle here. To Sam, I have not seen anything about alternate costumes yet, unfortunately. We'll get up to my next save room before we uh, change it out. I want to see how these things work in, in action. Uh oh. I have found a means to evolve machine kind beyond our programming. Making humanity obsolete. Prepare to be removed from the surface. Access to the next sector is currently obstructed. You need to enter the override code into the nearest interface terminal. Get him, Miles. Get him. Oh my god, are you serious? Thor is just taking shots. Tower systems restored to twenty five percent functionality. Thunder Strike. Oh, so I need to do Thunder Strike. Thunder Strike. There we go. We're getting a lot of gear already. We only went through like a couple of enemies and there's gear just dropping. Oh, wait, wait, can I get that? Oh, come on. Tell me there's a way. Okay, I might be able to go around over here. Okay. Look at his flying animation, even. Oh, I can't fly in here. Oh, it actually drains energy to fly. I did not know that. I will stop flying so much. I need to do this. He's durable enough. Hey, Avengers, this is the Wasp. I'd love to join the fun, but I'm currently locked down in the main living quarters. <laughs> so from right here, we can go right into the infinity things. And I think I'll end it on one of these so there's a little bit of combat, a little bit of excitement here. I don't want to end it on just a puzzle solving room. So these are the trials. This is the Gamma Rift. All of these nodes are part of this one rift. And the game said there are multiple to unlock in the game. Oh, right here. Hold on. Reward details. An outfit for Black Widow. Captain Marvel. And Elektra. That's if I do everything. 
And this mission right here looks like it has something for Spider-Man. But it's level 20. I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. Damn, man. I wanted to hop right in there. That looked good. All right, let's see if I can do this one right here. Defeat Venom and Electro. Let's see what happens if I do this. So there are costumes. Also, I know that if you buy the expansion pass, you get an alternate costume for Deadpool right away. The game tells you, like right when you go to the main menu and you click on DLC, it explains that uh, that's how it's going to work. Let's see how these trial boss fights work. I wonder if it's just like the campaign version. Oh wow, the uh, lightning attribute that Miles has is pretty freaking strong. Well, we have a lot more ISOs. Look at that. Increase the likelihood of being targeted by the enemy. So some of these ISOs aren't even purely stat buffs. They are changes to like taunting and aggro and things like that that's um pretty interesting honestly i didn't think they'd have stuff like that in the game for equipable items i only have wolverine this at the moment uh so far playable mutant <laughs> Scarlet Witch is really powerful though. Away from him, guys. Oh no, was really powerful. I really didn't even realize that he absorbed Electro like that. That's kind of crazy. Venom is kind of insane. Yep, yep, yep. I remember. I remember. Oh, 
Got him. And it is you who gets burned. Uh, so, so Vejia, yes, so far, absolutely worth it. Oh, almost, I gotta defeat all enemies. Christ, didn't see that thing there. Okay, still pretty good. Um, let's go back to the main menu here. Yes, you can play as vi uh, villains. I have Venom. I'll show you guys the character select screen really quick, and I'll give you my final thoughts on my first, uh, four-ish hours, uh, of the game. Uh, let's see here. Go to Hero Select. I like that background art. I like how it changes. So as you see, nice selection of uh, characters here. Street level. We do have Venom. I know other villains are playable. Uh, full multiplayer options, full online. You can even do... We found that earlier, you can do two players local and then go online and get two other people to play with you or one other person. Like you can mix and match the online however you like. Um, for those that missed it, the way the online works in this game, uh, I know I said this earlier, but some of you guys weren't here. Uh, in this game, when you play online, you bring, you, you pick a character and when you play in the other person's party, all the story missions and infinity trials that you complete will complete for you on your own account. All the ISO 8s you find, the experience, the money, you take all that back with you into your own game, which is awesome. It's probably the best way they could have handled the online. It is no longer purely based on the host progression, which means you'll always be progressing your own characters and game, even when you're joining random people online. That is super super cool it is much better than how they did the previous games uh the game itself like i said earlier i had my fears about it i was a little unsure i uh, wasn't sure how the depth would work you know it seemed I, I i saw what some of you guys saw with the mobile stuff but it's not like that the game has its own complexity to it it animates it looks great but more than that the combat is something that you always have to be focused on like, I have not played once today and just mindlessly button mash my way to victory. Like, you can't do it. You need hero synergies. You have to avoid enemy attacks. You have to know how to stun enemies. Um, and you have to use your attacks at the right moments. And knowing how and when to do those with the amount of characters you have at your disposal, with their different synergies they have, there's a lot to peel back. There's a lot more layers here than the previous games had. And I love those older games. They're some of my favorite. But this is a more tactical and sound game, especially when it comes to combat and the depth that it provides. Like, it is easily above the rest. And uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting much of the story. I just kind of wanted to play a Marvel co-op game where you get some loot and fight some guys. But, like, the story has been really good so far. Great voice work. The presentation of the cutscenes has been really entertaining. I'm not going to say it's like the Marvel movies, but it's about on par with like the animated Marvel films of the past few years. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, even on the Switch, it's running fine. I only get frame drops when I'm doing an ultimate attack, but you can't play while that's happening on the screen. So overall, it's a really strong first impression. Um, I just want to keep playing and playing and playing. Uh, I have to go eat, and I'm sure some of you are all ready to play it at midnight in about three or four hours. So I am going to uh, really quick drop in my friend code here so you guys can see it. Uh, trying to think. There is my friend code. Oh my God, Tasm with the subscription with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. So take down my friend code and join the Discord because um, I plan on playing this game for a long time. Uh, in part of the review guide I got, they said there's going to be a lot of DLC characters and story scenarios i don't know what that is i don't know how far that goes but it sounds very promising it sounds like there's more than just costumes and characters coming which is incredible so i think the game's really good it's a lot of fun add me on the switch join the discord hit me up on there and like i said i review games for rectifygaming.com my youtube channel please check it out i am not like i said a racist asshole I am not a sexist pig. I am not a young kid tripped up on Adderall playing Fortnite and yelling at the camera. 
Uh, what I am is someone who tries to be good at games. I've been playing them since the beginning. So all I can ask from everyone here is just to follow me because that's the best way to support me um, and what I try to do in my community with everyone here. And uh, there will be a lot of giveaways and things like that. Thank you all for watching. Thanks, Phlox, for playing co-op with me earlier local. You can go back, check the VOD. You can see her in action playing with me. It's a lot of fun. Great game so far. Surpasses my expectations. And it is not a mobile port ripoff. So that's it from me. Have a great one, everyone. I appreciate you guys. This is the uh, Fight Club style. But uh, I am out of here. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.